Hello friends, welcome back to course on uh, integrated pest management. By this time, you have learned what is pest, dynamics of pest, survey and surveillance, and also important decision making in pest management through calculation of EIL and ETL. In this class, we will see the principles and uh, concepts of integrated pest management. Before going to concepts of pest management, let us visualize how our ancestors they followed some of the practices for the management of insect pests both in uh, stored grain pest management and also in open fields. In earlier days, Chinese they are the pioneers in use of chalk and wood dash for the management of important insect pest enclosed spaces. Similarly, they are the probably first in use of ants as a biological control agent for both stored grain pest management and also foliage feeding insects. You know neem is one of the domestic tree in India. So, it was since many years it is being used for the management of various pests both in stored grain pest management and also in open field. Similarly, chrysanthemum was used as a insecticide in middle and near east of Asia. Ant is one of the important predator in managing the important pest. So, there is a record of use of this biological control agent that is ant in China during 3000 AD. Similarly, Chinese they are the first to use inorganic insecticide for uh, management of uh, garden pests. Now many workers actually they moved from biological control to another uh, uh, control that is uh, pesticidal uh, uh, control. Before invention of uh, uh, DDT, the pesticide management was uh, negligible or uh, nil only few insecticides which belongs to inorganic groups were used. After the invention of uh, DDT by Paul Muller, there was a uh, very tremendous uh, increase in the introduction of uh, many uh, compounds which belongs to different uh, groups including uh, chlorinated hydrocarbons, OP compounds that is uh, organophosphorus compounds, carbamates, then synthetic pyrethroids and followed by IGRs. But uh, the use of these uh, compounds, especially the compounds which belong to chlorinated hydrocarbons was uh, uh, tremendous on uh, agricultural crops including uh, in India and uh, other countries also. At the same time, the other uh, biological uh, uh, or birational compound uh, which is DOOM was uh, uh, introduced uh, in uh, USA against uh, Japanese beetle larvae which attacks actually turf. Actually the widespread use of uh, these uh, uh, compounds especially chlorinated hydrocarbons and organophosphorus compounds actually it has created uh, one uh, foundation for integrated pest management program. During 1959, V.M. Stern and his associates they actually implemented the integral control of pest management through integration of chemical and biological control which is called uh, integrated uh, control and it was uh, actually uh, well illustrated uh, by suppressing the boll weevil that is uh, cotton boll weevil which is one of the important pest in uh, cotton ecosystem. And further he also introduced the important concepts of EIL and ETL which is the one of the uh, base for the development of IPM. So, further the introduction of uh, uh, various uh, compounds in integrated pest management was uh, initiated and uh, the looking to the importance of integrated pest management, uh, the one mega project that is a uh, healthcare project on IPM was introduced uh, in uh, USA and uh, this uh, IPM program was uh, introduced on uh, major uh, six crops including 
cotton and soybean of that region. And at the same times, the other important insecticides which are photo stable, they are synthetic pyrethroids were also released in India, wherein the green revolution was taking place in India because during that time the country was more amount of food to feed many Indians. In that context, hybrids of wheat and rice were released. Actually, these hybrids they attracted a higher number of insect pests because they were intensively cultivated by application of some chemical fertilizers. And this green revolution was achieved by protection under pesticides. And identification of new bio rationals was continued. Hence, the other bio rational that is LCAR, which was actually registered in USA, which actually uh, used for the management of uh, Helicorpa and at the same time another uh, uh, NPV that uh, uh, which manages uh, tobacco budworm and cotton was also released. And uh, during that time the another uh, safe insecticide that is methoprene which belongs to insect growth regulator was also released. So, after uh, green uh, revolution that is after 1996 the search was on of uh, identification of uh, different uh, uh, mechanism for uh, the pest management. So, during 1987 the efforts were put to uh, use uh, these biotechnological tools for the construction of uh, resistant uh, or uh, tolerant uh, uh, crop against uh, the particular pest. In that way the first transgenic plant in uh, tobacco for the control of Manduka Sexta was uh, introduced and again uh, the work was uh, on for further uh, identification of uh, uh, different uh, transgenic uh, crops. And at the same time the much importance was also given to the implementation of IPM programs on uh, uh, different crops in uh, different locations. In that way the IPM task force was uh, formulated to garner the attention of uh, international uh, peoples just to support the integrated pest management and uh, its development in India and other countries also. And afterwards this IPM task force was uh, reconstituted as IPM working group. And because of uh, this uh, effort during 1992 FEO sponsored uh, many projects around the globe and because of this India could get uh, uh, few more uh, projects on important crops like uh, rice, cotton followed by soybean. So, we have seen uh, various uh, phases of uh, development of uh, integrated pest management programs. Earlier farmers they used to adopt only one technique and afterwards they incorporated another techniques that is called uh, multiple tactic uh, phase by incorporating uh, a chemical and also resistant. So, that is well illustrated in uh, suppression of uh, cotton bowl we will in uh, USA and that uh, phase uh, as well you can call it as uh, integrated uh, control. That means to say one is uh, interested in uh, 100 percent uh, uh, control of insect uh, pests by utilizing more than one technique. And afterwards the biological component was uh, incorporated and uh, more uh, uh, incorporation of uh, bio agents uh, like uh, natural uh, uh, available uh, uh, predators and uh, parasitides against uh, different uh, pests was uh, incorporated. And uh, including all these uh, components, the models were uh, developed for the uh, management of insect pest on uh, different crops that is called uh, modeling uh, phase. And after utilizing all available uh, techniques and uh, the data and survey and surveillance and uh, scientists they constructed uh, different IPM systems for different crops. Now, the 
ultimate phase that is a systems implementation phase. So, one has to implement these IPM programs at farmers level thereby farmers he is going to be benefited. So, in that context you have various programs among one is FFS that is farmers field schools that is schools without four walls. So, here the farmer will be trained for different tactics which are utilized for the pest management program. Okay, now, we have seen the history of or landmarks in the history of insect pest management program. Now, let us see some definitions of integrated pest management. So, there are hundreds of definitions which are actually given by many authors, organizations, scientists and also some institutes. Among one is the definition given by panels of experts of FEO during 1967 according to them pest management is a system that in the context of associated environment and population dynamics of the pest species utilizes all suitable techniques and methods in as compatible a manner as possible and maintains pest populations at levels below those causing economic injury. So, here spelt out about, about the ecology and the population dynamics and various components their utilization in the integrated pest management program and ultimately one should look for the economic injury that is going to cause by the insects. Another definition given by Kogan, he speaks about the what is pest and how one can integrate these available methods of pest control in a harmonious manner and ultimately decision should be based on ecological principles and one has to consider the economic and social issues of the farmer. Recently, another definition given by Dhaliwal and Arora. So, he actually uh, emphasized uh, uh, more about uh, the pest management survey and uh, surveillance and uh, utilization of forecasting uh, uh, information and uh, develop uh, a holistic uh, management uh, uh, program against a particular pest which is actually sustainable in crop production technology. So, first we have to understand uh, the pest ecology and thereby you have to identify correctly the source of pest and its nature of damage thereby one can formulate both preventive and curative measures for management of a particular pest. So, overall what are the objectives of pest management? So, always reduce the pest below economic injury level. So, that means to say one should not uh, aim to eradicate the 100 percent elimination of the pest and uh, manage insects by not only killing them, but by preventing feeding and also their multiplication and the dispersal. And use most eco friendly methods which will ultimately maintain quality of environment that is air, water, wildlife and other a plant life system and always make use of natural mortality factors. So, which are actually applied in the control measures and ultimately the IPM component should be sustainable in crop production. Thank you.